What is up everybody, Bootman here, and we are back with another Marvel Snap video. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, you read that right. I got the big bad boy himself, Galactus, for free. So, and in this video, I wanted to talk about a couple different topics surrounding Galactus and cards and stuff. And then I wanted to jump into a few games, show you this deck I built, and have a little fun with our man Galactus, all right? But before we get started, if you're new here, hi, my name is Chris. I also go by Bootman. And if you love Marvel Snap as much as I do, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. One of my main goals with the channel is to help people reach infinite, but I'm also into the competitive aspect of the game. So when battle mode comes out, tournaments and all that jazz, this channel is gonna be popping, all right? So make sure you subscribe. We're trying to hit 7,000 subscribers by the end of the month, and I think I think me and you could do it, all right? And and you could join our awesome Discord community linked down in the description below. Ton of cool people in there. We love talking about decks, showing our leader wins, posting nasty plays, all sorts of fun channels. And follow me on Twitter at BootmanMSTZ if you wanna be part of our monthly giveaways where I give away some season passes and we got the Ant-Man Quantumania season coming up, so you don't wanna miss it. Follow me at BootmanMSTZ on Twitter, linked down in the description below. So, yeah, yeah, last night I uh, got Galactus. Check it, check it out. Just right out of a freaking reserve. So, a little bit of a backstory, all right? I, I was planning on getting Galactus. I had Galactus pinned in my shop for days, okay? And like I was looking and I was watching because I've watched a lot of Galactus videos and I made that video about how to beat Galactus, okay? There's very simple tells for beating Galactus. But like, I don't know, I, I just wanted to try something new. And the thing about like Galactus and Thanos is that they are definitely like a different style of play. And I wanted something fresh. I ran a poll and I'm like, man, should I get Galactus or Thanos? Everybody overwhelmingly said Galactus, right? But I don't have Null. And I was actually talking with my son. I'm like, hey, what do you think? Galactus or Null? He's like, or Galactus or Thanos? He's like, man, he's like, he didn't call me man. I'm his dad. But anyway, <laughs> he's like, I wouldn't get Galactus unless I had Null. I'm like, kid, you make a good point. And he's like, you can do a lot more stuff with Thanos. I'm like, you're right. So I unpinned Galactus, all right? I'm waiting for Thanos, and this freaking game puts M'Baku in my shop. Like, no joke. Just like so many times in a row. So, so many times in a row. It's the last Series 4 card I don't have, and it's been driving me nuts. I'm like, just give me Thanos. I got, look at all these tokens. Look at all these tokens. I'm just... I am ready to spend. I got over 12,000 tokens. So my plan is Thanos, all right, then Shuri and Super Scroll when they drop, and then uh, Shadow King if he ever shows up in my shop, right? But anyways, anyways, so I've been super angry, super upset. I've been hating how the token shop works. I never really pay attention to it since I don't, there weren't any cards that I was willing to get until like Shadow King came out or until they drop. But it's crazy how this token shop just keeps putting the same cards in. But we're here to talk about Galactus. So the fool pops up in my shop. So before we jump into some games and I go over this deck, I want to discuss something real quick. Like if you're here, like you really need to like join us with having a good mindset in this game. I am not a raw, raw motivational speaker, but I guess I used to like coach Counter-Strike teams and I am competitive, but like if you're sitting there thinking that you're losing because you don't have series five cards, get that out of your face right now. Just get it out of your face, your head, make it leave. That is such a terrible mindset because I have been playing with Galactus like nonstop since I got him last night and the amount of games I lose with this card, okay? You guys are screwing up your own games. If you're like, well, I can't win if I don't have series five cards. like. Go watch streams. Don't watch videos. Do not watch, okay. Like watch videos for entertainment, but like there's a lot of Galactus videos out there and I am like, I am like shocked that they just show the wins. Like I am flabbergasted, all right? Like the amount of times this card loses, okay? Like I know this was like fun, exciting video, but I am going to show you, I'm just gonna play like five or six straight games and just show you, okay? But you all, I don't care if it's Darkhawk, I don't care if it's Shuri, I don't care what card it is that you think that you need to make you the best Marvel Snap player in the world, go watch streams and watch how much 
people lose, okay? Because here at this channel, we're not gonna have these excuses of, oh, well, I can't get a Series 5 card. No, there is no Series 3 cards that cannot beat Series 5 cards, all right? And I'm going to drill that into your head, all right? Because I think a lot of people, they just, they believe the thing that they don't have is what's gonna fix them. It's kind of like life, right? Oh, if I could just get this car, if I could just get this house, then I'll be happy, then I'll be amazed. No, that's not how it works, all right? Learn to work with what you got. And that's part of the fun of this game, getting creative. You know how many people, you know how many people I've made their day because they're beating a Galactus? like a ton and every Galactus player has gone through the same thing. Now, when I get Null, by the way, Null is a must buy now. Now some of those tokens are going to Null, I forgot to mention that. Null might be a little bit different, might be a little bit different, but anyways. So if you're if you're here and you're somebody who makes the excuse that you don't have series five and that's why you're not hitting infinite, that's why you're not winning, like get to step in or sit back, be quiet and learn a few things, all right? There's my rant for the day, let's run over this deck, okay? So. I got Rocket Raccoon, I got Ebony Ma, okay? Um, well, I had Rocket Raccoon until he decided to leave my deck. Boom, there you go. Rocket Raccoon and Ebony Ma, primarily for Adam Warlock, okay? So Adam Warlock, by the way, I've tried a ton of decks. This is probably the most consistent one. Um, and it's kind of a hodgepodge of a few decks that I found. So anyways, uh, and Adam Warlock, okay? Our goal is to draw as many cards as possible. It's not just to get Galactus out there, because this deck is useless without Galactus. Um, so it's to draw uh, as many cards as possible, all right? Uh, so that's what we're doing. And it kind of focuses their attention in different ways. Like when people see Adam Warlock, they're like, I gotta go there, I gotta go there, right? So usually like if I can on turn three, I'll drop an Ebony Ma and Adam Warlock. So they gotta focus attention. And when they're focusing attention, we get to hopefully blow up that location. All right, so then Wolverine. I don't, like, a lot of the videos and decks I came across aren't using Wolverine. Like, what is, what's, what's wrong with you people? Like, it's a free card. You can play Wolverine wherever you want, and then at the end of the game, he's coming to the Galactus land, all right? So then we got um, the two goblins, Green Goblin, Hobgoblin. If we can get negative power over to their side when we're gonna Galactus, awesome. But here's the thing. Like, with Galactus, you don't want turn priority. So sometimes, with a Green Goblin and Hobgoblin play, it's automatically gonna give me priority because they're in the negatives, and then they can Shang-Chi my face, all right? So it's a very iffy, tricky move, all right? So Electro and Wave, all right? This is because, again, part of this deck is you have to get Galactus out turn five, or he's even more useless, all right? There is one game that I won where, um, where I played Galactus turn six. It was at Luke's bar and it was hilarious because I had Wolverine down. <laughs> I had Wolverine down. So when I blew up uh, Luke's bar, Wolverine just popped over and went right there and it was phenomenal, all right? Don't get me wrong. This, this deck is fun, but it's not gonna get you infinite anytime soon, all right? So yeah, just in case you look, oh, I need to get Galactus from the shop. Calm down, okay? So we got Wave, we got Shang-Chi, okay? Shang-Chi only good if we don't have turn priority, all right? Then we got Chavez to hopefully push some cards down and we got death. And the thing is too, with death, I've, I've ran into plenty of games where I don't blow up enough cards to really do much. Like death by herself, depending on how the game's going, isn't gonna win games, all right? Because if they have a lot of power there, like, and I'm just adding 12 to two for, you know what I mean? Like some people are dropping 20 um, and, and yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna play straight through because God, like every video out there that I see is only the wins. And I think you people out there, it is melting your brains. It is distorting your view of how this game is and how the world works. And here at this channel, I wanna show you the realness, okay? So I know you're having fun watching all these people go crazy with Galactus, but I'm just gonna show you boom, 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 and watch, watch me go on like a 10 game winning streak. But <laughs> anyways, watch because I'm going to condition you to understand that these series five cards are not just automatic wins go watch streams or channels like mine where i have no problem showing you the losses all right i've dropped like two or three ranks with this deck you know just messing around well with a card i've played around with different decks all right anyways i'll shut up let's jump into some games but you don't need series five cards all right let's do this all right let's see what we're working with so i will say that galactus does pop up a decent amount of this um so also the other thing with galactus is there's certain uh 
locations that are not good for Galactus, right? I would say cloning vats is down there because they're getting copies. Like part of the benefit of the Galactus is they play their cards and now they don't have access anymore. But whatever this person clones, it's gone. Now, something I've been doing though is snapping on Galactus. I wanted to see how it works, okay? Um, because look, oh, uh, but actually it's two conditions. If I have Galactus and a ramp card to ramp up to Galactus. But anyways, um, something else I plan on doing, and I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. Okay, there's Electro. Uh, my son, he, he wants to hit Infinite again because they have the new card back. Uh, and so get Wolverine down, all right? Wolverine so you can go in another lane, all right? And also, before I tell you about my son and stuff, uh, I don't want to play throne, throne Room because I don't know if I'll have the highest power there if I blow it up. So hopefully this is a location that I can Galactus on. Anyways, my son, he wants to hit Infinite again. So I might, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm going to coach him to Infinite with some of his decks and things like that. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to do a live stream or what. Um, but yeah, because uh, I want you all to see. Right, I've had some people say they want to see my thought process, everything like that. So we'll see how that goes. Let's see, I have no problem with this. I'm just gonna hobgoblin, get some negative power over there and then Galactus next turn. Like if you can get Electro out on turn three and you got hobgoblin, that's dope. All right, broken toy. Okay, so look, negative eight over there. We got a Galactus. We got a Wolverine. Watch this, watch this first one's going to be a freaking win. Okay, and then, whoop, kneel before Galactus. You see what I named this deck? Neil Sucker. <laughs> I cracked me up. Oh, Wolverine went to the wrong place. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah, there's so many games where I just Galactus and then I just lose, you know? Oh, you're going to let me pull cards? All right, all right. Look, I have a second Wolverine. And that's kind of good. So let's see what happens. Like, if they have a Shang-Chi. Oh. Don't need him. All right, I was wrong. Galactus is the best card in the game. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh. All right, let's do another one. So the other thing about coaching my son is part of my uh, my rants about not snapping turn one, um, and I said this in my video the other day, is what's your hurry? What's your rush, right? Well, this has given me a good chance to experiment because there is a rush. My son has 10 days to hit infinite, so he needs to gain cubes. You see what I'm saying? So um, it's been interesting because I get to experiment with first turn snapping. Nothing to play. Nothing to play here. All right, so some of these locations screw me up too. Like sometimes, like especially against surfer decks, people are playing like a Polaris and stuff. So like, I'll like put Wolverine here and then I'll have something over here and then I'm planning on Galactusing over here and then they'll Polaris and then all the lanes are filled. And like I said, this deck is useless without Galactus. All right. Let's see, let's see. So right now, no Galactus, Morag is another one. It's another one. Ugh. So I don't even see Galactus, but if I do, like, right? Like, so all they gotta do is pull one card over here and I am donezo. Ooh. All right, pray for Galactus. So, like, if I don't get Galactus, like, I probably got to retreat. I probably have to retreat. Ooh, that got close. That was a little close. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, right before I hopped on here, Right? I, I went into a game and uh, 
what happened? I think Sokovia, was it? No, not Sokovia, Sakar pulled my Galactus, like turn two, right? And we were going back and forth. I dropped a Green Goblin, the dude snapped me. He dropped an Odin on my Green Goblin, sent it right back. But yeah, not fun, not a fun one. But like, I, I will say, like when you get a Galactus win, it's fun, it's hilarious, right? I feel bad, right? Like, is there anything worse when a Galactus like does a little freaking uh, Miss Marvel? emote on you like yo you're playing galactus like don't do that like so just know if you ever come across me playing galactus i'm not gonna be a jerk about it all right and if you beat me like i'll i'll fist bump you whatever like i know what it's like to beat a galactus it is fun oh okay there's galactus so if i get a ramp card i'll snap like that you see so one of these necrotia, necrotia or like ne what is it negative zone where it's like minus three like anything like that kind of good like if you have like um Hobgoblin, Green Goblin, whatever. So now I could play Galactus on turn four. I don't know. Like, I think there's better versions of this deck, though. Like, I, I just don't know. Like, I wish, like, that's kind of why I like Thanos and I want Thanos. If Thanos doesn't come out, you can still win, right? Like, Thanos is just one card. Now, it does give you the gems, but you can build other types of decks around. You can build into a zoo, a lockjaw, whatever, you know? Um, I don't know if you guys watch Specimen. You should. He's really good. Um, and he creates some really cool decks. But um, he just got Thanos and he's been streaming with it. So like right now, by the way, the, what I'm looking at, they just played one card. So if I wave into Galactus on four, my death is gonna be like nothing. Like nothing. I'm not gonna snap back because like, they just don't have enough cards on the board right now. Because if I can't play death on it, like, Now, if it gives me a Hobgoblin and a Green Goblin right here, we're in business. Shoot. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. So one, two, three, four, this is gonna take death down to five. So play like two cards. Yeah, there we go. You can snap back, son. You can snap back, Luciano. Oh wait, did we already snap back? Did I already do that? Yeah, I can't click it. Well, Luciano, sorry. This is not in your plan. I can't believe how many games I'm winning right after I went on my whole little spiel. Like, trust me, <laughs> Goliath is not just an amazing card. <laughs> This guy knows. He knows what's coming, don't you? Don't tell Luciano. <laughs> you know. You see? You see? <laughs> what are you bringing over, bro? What you bringing over? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I could... Yeah. I could death Hobgoblin here. I don't think he's going to fill it up because his uh, thing's gone, so I think we win. Oh wait, no, three and five, I can't do that. Oh, and you have priority? So if you got a high power card, do it, do it Luciano, do it. Unless you're gonna leader me and then that's very annoying. But hey, like if he wins, Luciano, have fun with the eight cubes. I'm trying to prove to my audience something. Ooh, dang Luciano. Oh, dang Luciano, dang Luciano. Look at that, look at that, the clutch Cosmo. Look at you. Here you go. Look, I told you, I fist bump him. Take it. Look, look, look at him, look at him. Hey, Luciano, I don't know if you're infinite, but I am, so those eight cubes mean nothing to me. Like, little did Luciano know. Like, he, he was so proud of himself, but uh, yeah, I was able to uh, teach my audience a valuable lesson, you know? There's a little snap. Now, now what I'm thinking is, I got Limbo. So do I want to utilize the limbo or do I want to mess with this person thinking that there's a limbo and then take it away when I Galactus on turn five? You see what I'm saying? All right, there we go. They haven't pulled a single rocket or Ebony Maw. What's up with that? Oh yeah, this location, not great because now I have no control over where that goes.
Don't copy here. Don't copy over here. Oh, no. This is good for me, though. This is good for your boy. So this kind of sucks that I wasn't able to pull, um, put Wolverine on the board. But I get to pull two cards. One, two. Ugh, not what I wanted. Okay. All right. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. Nice. Nice. Oh, see, it's fun now. Look at that. And now, final turn. Final turn. Sorry. Sorry, Shepton. I'm sorry I had to do you like that. Oh, man. Now, that is an ideal game, right? Oh, wait. Hold on. If he skips turn, though, don't skip turn. Don't, like, play something with a lot of power. Play something with a lot of power. <laughs> Shepton! Look at that. He's going to beat me by one? No, 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 no. Is it going to be a tie? No, he beat me by two! Look! See? See, you just saw two Galactus losses. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. That's too bad. So another thing about Galactus, which makes sense because he'd be very overpowered, is you cannot, even though he's on reveal, you cannot um, drop a card with it, okay? So for example, I've played against Destroy decks where I've had death down to like, you know, zero, right? And I'm like, uh, I tested it out. I saved Galactus until turn six and drop Galactus and death doesn't work. So, like, like I said, it would be way too overpowered if that's what it actually did. Okay, we'll do, like, one or two more. But, yeah, did you see that? That would have been dope. If that was, like, almost any other card, we would have been Gucci, baby. Yeah, as you can see, too. Okay, Ebony Mon, Adam Warlock, nice. Um, ooh, and Super Flow. But, um, like, as you can see, though, uh, like, even snapping, even snapping with Galactus and Ramp, like, I just lost two games snapping with Galactus and Ramp. You see what I'm saying? All right. I'm going to wait a turn. Because I don't know what these locations are. Even though I can do one of these. Look, boom, boom. Crap. All right. We're going to risk it. Now four. I guess I could do super flow, right? Because this will give me even more. Actually, look, because I got Ebony Mon, he hasn't revealed yet. Nice. Ooh, I don't like that. Crap, what else did they discard? I have the little uh, thing up. Nice, nice. And a little, uh, little, a little hobgoblin your way. So they discarded their Hella. They still have a Ghost Rider, I think. But anyway, oh yeah, I have that little overlay up and it doesn't show you what they discarded, which sucks. Come on, Galactus. Come on. Don't embarrass me in front of my friends. Oh, this is good. Come on, Galactus. Just come out. Come out and play. Yeah, I don't have Galactus. So I just got to hope that this Dracula... Okay.
Now, now look at this. Look, because I don't have Galactus and I have Electro out here, I cannot drop two cards, which I need to do. See, 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 see. Look, he won't let me do it. Nowhere to play, huh? Huh? He won't let me do it. So that, my friends, is a big old fat L because Galactus didn't want to come out and play. Look at that. 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 No, minus 11. Galactus, if you came out, we would have had so much fun together. They had all this stuff middle and right. It would have been so fun. So fun. Here, here's a fist bump for you, Kingpin. All right, let's do one more because I am proving my point, ladies and gentlemen. All right, final game. I got my Goblin Boys. I got another Sinister London, which I don't like. Unless I can run my, uh, my Goblins, then <laughs> I'll take that all day. Oh, wow. It's like... It's like a combination of all, look at this. Take them, take them both. I hope it goes on super flow. Please go on super flow. Please go on super flow, you little goblin. I got a little, a little troll laugh that <laughs> Green Goblin does. Ah, and it didn't go there. Okay, look, they're playing a destroy deck. We got death. Things are looking good. Uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Oh, but they also have a destroy deck, so. I gotta play you here. Let me see. I'm trying to I'm trying to think right now because if I play Ebony Ma here, I block it, right? But if I play Ebony Ma here, it could go and fill up my lanes. You know what I'm saying? So like that is very, very frustrating. And with this at Attilin, I don't know if it'll be good. But the thing is, like, I only have one route to go with this deck. So it's like I might as well. I might as well just do that, right? Go on super flow, do it, do it. Watch, watch. Luck is gonna put, my luck is gonna put him right over there on the right. Of course, of course. Oh, you gotta love, you gotta love the RNG in this game. Now I am in so much trouble. Uh, actually. Not in trouble. If Galactus shows his stupid face. Wait, are you a are you a bot? Are you a bot though? Oh my lord. Go all the way to the right. Go all the way. I'm playing another game if you mother son of a That's so so annoying. Like, uh games are very frustrating when uh like everything works. Look, watch Galactus come. Look! <laughs> <laughs> that is ridiculous. But like games are very frustrating. Like like this dude snaps, right? And then uh, I think he might be a bot. But then uh here, hold on. Let me test him again. Um but like when the other person like snaps and then just randomness, look, yeah, it's a person, and then randomness just works in their favor and they're like, I'm good. I'm pretty good at this game, you know? Just the, the RNG in this game just Fantastic. I, I manipulate it like, like I'm Neo in the Matrix. Like, get out of here. Get out of here. All right. Let's see if we let's see if we can get one last one last Galactus in. Holy crap, that was ridiculous. All right. Give me some goblins. Listen over here. Savage lands out of the question. Got it. Put you here. Drop an Ebony Maw next turn. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Ooh. Yeah, this is probably better.
Ooh, don't like that. Uh, well, I guess I can just put Electro over here. You're not Galactus. See, and there's another thing, right? Like, I have to... Uh, and I have to leave a lane open. Now it's like, what's better? And I have to hope Galactus comes out. Do I want to go here, though? Because that would make my Galactus zero. If, if he comes out with the two cards I'm about to get. Yeah, because I'll have plenty for death. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if Galactus wants to come out on this last and final final turn. I've noticed a lot of rescues lately, which is fine because my song Chi. You're not Galactus? And you are. Welcome to the party, Logan. <laughs> but he still has Zabu. I don't like that. What are you dropping? What are you dropping? Drop something big. Okay. This is gonna blow up plenty. So I think I might be able to take out that lizard. If I could drop Wolverine, Dong Chi, and Death. But I'm not even gonna risk that green goblin. Not even gonna risk it. He's gotta have something big, right? Gotta have something big. Last one, by the way, Galactus, you came in clutch. I'm sorry for everything I said about you. Uh, but I don't know if it'll have enough power. Uh, maybe I should have done Tavez, but who knows? He could have a, a, a Hobgoblin. Yep. Boom, Shang-Chi coming in clutch. I like dropping Shang-Chi last because they get a little excited. You know, they're like, oh, Oh, maybe he doesn't have it. It's like, nah, he's there. Chang Chi's there. He's there. He's just waiting. Don't worry. They're like, oh, it's a death. Oh, oh, that's just Wolverine. Oh, oh, it's Chang Chi. That's what I imagine is going on on the other side of the screen. You know what I mean? Well, everybody, that is all we got. And I hope we we learned some valuable lessons today. What did we learn? Say it in the chat, everybody. Say it in the chat or just say it. Talk to your screen. I don't care if people are around you. I don't care if you're in public somewhere. Say it with me. Say it with me. You don't need Series 5 to win games. And sometimes Series 5 cards lose games for you. Okay, did we say that? Write that down, put it on your mirror so every day when you go and you get ready in the morning, you see, oh, you're right. Series 5 cards don't win me games. And sometimes, sometimes they even lose me games. All right, but it's a fun card. It is a fun card. It's fun, all right? If, here's, here's, here's my final thoughts on it. If you're infinite and you want to have silly goose time, play Galactus. Go crazy, right? Like, would I spend 6,000 tokens on Galactus? Like, probably not. Probably not. Like, I don't know. That's why I unpinned him. And, and getting him for free, like, I'm happy I did. By the way, you guys can check the token shop with me. I'm back. I'm really debating it, though. Like, here's the thing, though. Like, I got Galactus for free. Like, I kind of just want to get, get him Baku. Like, I kind of, should I? Should I? Like, I've been yelling about M'Baku so much. The game just gave me Galactus for free. Like, should I get M'Baku? You know what? In front of you and everybody else out there, let's do it. So if you watch this video, you got a little bit of a surprise. I did it. I did it. Yeah, are you sure? No refunds? Yeah. Yeah, no refunds. Anyways, there's some fun decks I want to try to with M'Baku, and M'Baku is another fun card. So get ready for some new content. And and he, he seems pretty legit in Thanos decks. So there we go. There you guys have it. You got a twofer. You got a Galactus video. 
and you got uh, a nice little surprise at the end, all right? So anyways, Galactus, there's your gameplay. Figure out if you want to spend 6,000 tokens. But yeah, this isn't, you know, the game winner that everybody thinks it is, all right? But yeah, that's all I got for this video. I'm going to try to make one more video today um, and then <laughs> get ready for an Mbaku video, all right? So thanks very much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, ring the notification bell. Help me get to 7,000 subscribers by the end of the month, all right? And make sure you join our awesome Discord community down in the description below follow me on twitter at bootman mstz if you want to be part of our monthly giveaways uh for the season pass but not just that i'm a fun guy i'm a fun fun person on twitter so make sure you follow me on twitter all right so yeah have an amazing rest of your day i'll see you in the next one